you ready? Are you steady? Hi friends! Hi! <laughs> I'm Maddie. I'm Kristen. And this is the We Share Needles podcast. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I don't, what episode is this? Oh, 31? Yeah. 31. 31. Wow. We're in my living room. We are. I'm um, sitting on the floor in front of my window. So that's my kitchen. Lovely. It's a really pretty day. It's a beautiful day. It's a little warm. Um, it's like 80 degrees or oh, something. Oh, cat. There's Baxter. Hi, great cat. Start. A great start. Um, There's our boy. Um, so we have like all the windows open in my house and my, I just turned off the air and I'm loving every second of it. It's really lovely. You don't love it as much as I do. I don't love the warmth as much as, as you do. If you didn't know, this is a knitting podcast. Mostly. Most of the time. Um, sometimes crochet, sometimes maybe sewing, embroidery. We don't know what we're doing, but mostly we're knitting. And today I only have knitting. Do you have knitting? Yeah, I just have knitting. Okay. And cats. And cats. <laughs> We're sitting on the floor, so it's going to be awkward, but... It's not awkward. We're, uh, we're at our peak when we sit on the floor. If you did not know, now you know. We yeah. are a knitting podcast. Stay yeah. for the knitting. We're also going to talk about books today, and we have to pick a winner for our most recent knit-along, make-along, which was the Shalalalalong. <laughs> Shalalalalong. I felt like that was smooth. I, that was really good. <laughs> Shalalalalong. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Oh. So we had a like wrap-up Zoom meeting um, last weekend for the Shalalalalong, and we decided to wait until the podcast to pull a winner because we were, our schedule got a little <laughs> off with like life and travel and all that. Um, Baxter. <laughs> He's, He's like, beautiful. mom, save me. She's holding me weird. I hold him like that all the time. <sighs> Um, I hold him like, did you know Maya Knight on TikTok how she holds the two twins? Yeah. Like, that's how I hold Baxter and Cappuccino walking around the house. I love it. Um, yeah, so do we just want to jump right in and get a winner? Let's pick the winner because that ended technically last week and then yeah. we have to close the thread because we haven't yeah, done that yet. I'll do that real quick. Okay, so we have two prizes to give away that people have donated. They're back in the yarn room. So we're going to pick one winner from the FO thread and one winner from the chatter thread. The chatter thread will receive the stitch markers Ash from Vessel Stitch Co. sent us and the FO thread we have a package that Southern Skeins Yarn Shop in Florida put together and sent my way. Um, oh wait, that's an extra prize. I forgot. We also have the pearl strings from... Okay, so actually the pearl strings will go for the chatter thread and the stitch markers I'll put one with one to that winner and one with the package from Southern Skeins. Awesome. I think. I like Just it. Me. Cool. Anyway, that's what you're getting. <laughs> This is the FO thread winner, and in this thread there are 77 um, posts, and some of those are me and Kristen, so if we pick ourselves, of course, we'll pick again. Yeah. But um, Kristen, pick a number between 2 and 77. Oh, it's going to be 33, my favorite number. Oh my god, that's, is that really your favorite it's number? It's my favorite that's number. My, that's one of my favorite numbers since I was a kid. It was always my, my like baseball jersey number and everything, 33, yeah. Twins! Oh my god, I didn't know that about us. We have angel numbers together. <laughs> Wait, I love I don't know that. what that means. I think it might be like devil worship. Is it? I don't okay, know. Okay, post number 33. <laughs> is it me? Oh my god, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> post number 33 is Cheryl to knit. Um, she posted, I bought Spencycle yarn like I had won the lottery and then I searched for something to do with it. This is the Destination Unknown Shawl by Cheryl Faust. Looks difficult, but is not, she says. Beautiful. I'll put a so picture on kind the of screen. See, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Cheryl to knit, we'll put your name up there too. Shoot us a message, email us at we share needles podcast at gmail.com mm -hmm. or DM either of us on Instagram, whatever's easier. Ravelry, yeah. whatever. Just reach out to us somehow so we can get you a prize. Yay. And that yeah. was the FO winner? Yeah. So you're okay. receiving yarn. I believe it's yarn in a bag from Southern Skeins. It's, a, it's so cute. They sent it all packaged, <laughs> so I haven't opened anything. I've just left it as cute as they pat it. And now I'm clicking over to, ah, not that, <laughs> to the chatter the thread. The chatter thread. There are way more posts in this one. There are 132 posts in the chatter thread. 132? So pick a number between two and 132. Ooh, that's hard, because I want to say one, two, three, but that's pretty close, right? Yeah. That's look pretty close to the end. Okay, Wait, I mean, that's fine. Because they picked the middle one and now this yeah. will be the end, end one. One post one twenty three. Okay. Scroll, scroll, scroll. One, two, three. Um <laughs> so it's just a response to a post, I guess. Is there a way to filter out like just posts instead of replies in the chatter? I don't know. Or do we just do this? Ah, there's a bug. <laughs> um it's okay. We don't need to kill it. It's already dying. It looks like it's halfway dead. Ah! <laughs> it 
sweater than your sweater. No, it landed behind the sweater. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> post one, two, three on the chatter thread is Turtle Burger. <laughs> Remember, your your rivalry names are going to be announced. I so love that's it. funny. I'm going to see if she commented in. I um, really hope that turtle burger is not like a food. Because unless it's a burger for a turtle, that's fine. She did have an FO she posted. Um, so this is not the post I picked. The post I picked was just her responding that she loved something in that, which is what chatter threads are for. <laughs> but this is the shawl that Turtle, Bur Turtle Burger entered in our <laughs> cow. So it's she really did participate, pretty. which is really cool. And it looks like obviously she finished it. Yeah. It's the grain by Tin Can Knits. I like that FO picture. I like it. Yeah, the I love vibe. the theme. I love really it. Good. Her name's Brittany. Okay, Brittany. I hope you don't eat turtles for burgers. Oh, and Brittany's a designer. She's got hot <gasps> eggs for sale. Like oh, little. Oh. Cute. On your turtle burger? Wait, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to link her below. <laughs> Brittany, shoot us a message. You have uh, won a prize. So let us know. Awesome. Um, I love it. And love then our it. last, we also picked a prize from our Zoom meeting last weekend. So Val, our friend, um, won a prize over there. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, she and that was the Georgian. Yeah. Stitching Plaza bag. They got the Stitching Plaza bag mm -hmm. and stitch markers, right? Yeah, because okay. I've got extra stuff going on all the prizes. Well, thank you guys oh, all for participating. Yay! If you want to be up on like Ravelry stuff, you got to go over and join the Ravelry group. We always have it linked below mm -hmm. and we post stuff about our um, knit alongs, make alongs on Instagram and also in the community thread on YouTube. So lots of ways to get a hold of we us. We're the most active on our personal Instagrams. Yes. So made by Maddie oh my and Crafty Kristen J. <laughs> yeah. We're not super, we respond to messages and things on We Try Needles, but we're not super, super active on there. So just truly, if you're like actually trying to reach us, we read all the YouTube comments and stuff. Um, but then our like personal DMs, I get overwhelmed by mine sometimes. Uh, my message request folder is rather full right now. I need to pare it down, <laughs> but I try really hard. So yeah. 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 So should we jump into some knitting? Let's do it. FOs? FOs first. Finish objects. We both have Fos. one foe that's been gifted each, correct? Yes. 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 So I finished my Desert Misted Eye Work socks, my March Desert Misted Eye Work socks. <laughs> They're right here. With this yarn. <laughs> Very pretty. And I cast them on Sunday night when I got to Texas to my aunt's house and her eyes just perked up and she's like, ooh, who Do you know the colorway? No, because most of these were all online. of these were yeah. um, swaps or gifted to me, which was super cool. But um, there's a picture. She loved them, so I made them magic heel. I did these on a um, two millimeter US zero needle, 64 stitches. What? I know. I used Haya Haya nine inch circs. Interesting. Who am Changing I? Changing it up. I wanted to try them. Um, I'd gotten a set in the mail. So I got a nine inch circ in the high highs and then two 16 inch for toes. So I really enjoyed them. The joints were nice. The needles were not, a lot of people said the high highs are too sharp. They cut your finger. I did not have that experience at all. Well, that's the high high sharp. So these are not high high sharps, right? I don't know what these are. This I is a high high, high nine inch. The sharps are way different. But they look different. Yeah. Anyway, I like them a lot. I, um, I like having a different brand for the zeros so I can very easily visually say these are my zeros which I will continue to use when I do just like a tube. Um, pattern socks, I'll keep doing a one and things, but anyway, I like it. So that was my first FO. What did you finish and gift? I finished and gifted the socks for Logan, Yay. my ex-boyfriend. He <laughs> loves them. Aww, so sweet. here's a picture, they're cute. Um, they are Felici in the color Hot Shot, Knit Picks Felici in the color Hot Shot. And I think it just made them a normal 64 um, stitch sock because he's not like a big man. He's kind of thin legs and feet. And so um, I cut in a heel. It was very easy. And we were debating on the Zoom call and on Instagram whether or not they were pink or red. And everybody thought they were pink. And I was like, okay, I'm gifting my ex who already has like struggles with his masculinity a pair of hot pink socks. Um, but he loved them. He thought they were yeah, red or he thought he they were Yeah, he loved them. He thought they were cute. He didn't say anything about uh -huh. the color. He was just more impressed that I made them and that it takes so long to do that. And so he was just like, how long does it take you to do that? Like, and he asked all these questions about washing them and drying them and what would happen if like, you know, he got a hole or something. And I was like, like, I would fix them. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So That's sweet. he loves them. And um, I love knitting Felici. Felici yeah, so easy. Good They're good stripes. So. Cool. That's my one that I don't have with me. 
You finished anything else? I did. <gasps> Because you finished lots of I things. I didn't show well, not that many. I finished my shawl, my second shawl for the shawl all along. I showed this on the Zoom call. This is my Starflake by <gasps> Stephen Look West. At the lighting. It's so good. It smells phenomenal. It's huge. It's what did you wash it in? I washed it in eucalyn. It smells so good. Yeah. Maybe I'm not using enough eucalyn. My stuff never smells this good. I did it. I mean, I just let it air dry and it's been sitting for a while too. It's nice. It's been sitting for a couple it's weeks huge. since I bought it. It's drapey. It's awesome. It's beautiful. So I used the main color Malabrigo, my contrast color, uh, oh, main color Fuchsia. And then my contrast color was Dreaming Color Smooshy in the color wave Dune. And I used every gram of the contrast color, but I have like 30 grams left of the pink. So it's huge. I freaking love it. This is like my fourth or fifth Stephen so West. Good. And I love it. It's good. Um, I've already worn it. I don't usually wear shawls, but I wore this out to the grocery store. Um, I already have like an outfit I like to wear it with, which oh is like a gray God. shirt and jeans and boots. And it's cute. I like it a lot. So um, that's really fun. It knit up pretty quickly when I finally actually knit it. But yeah. I started this in December and I finished it a couple weeks ago. December to so. now does not feel like a long time. It, it's a blink of an eye. I mean, Stephen West <laughs> shawls are supposed to be able to be knit in oh, a month, right? Because this was I a guess. mystery cowl, right? Yeah. So like 2018 or something like that. But that's like if it's all you touch and there's pressure. Yes. And I did knit another shawl before this, which was my girl in the grocery store, which I love. But mm -hmm. I'm going to knit another one of those. But I love this so much. This border, the last bit, which is huge obviously took 40 grams that's insane i had 40 grams left until i got to this part it's insane that's, that's a huge a border that's so. crazy because i was like why did i have to get two of each color that was so stupid i have like 40 like i should have had three colors should have been a three color shawl mm -hmm. that's all you use no it was it was nope huge. stephen was right so stephen knows what he's doing we trust him do we? We do. Okay. Yeah, blindly. <laughs> Stupidly. <laughs> um, later, I'll talk about the book that I'm reading because there's a Stephen West character and it's amazing. I love that. Um, okay, so I have one more FO. Do you have any more FOs? I have one more. Okay. You do. You have your socks. I have some socks I'm knitting for Buddy. I finished one of the Pairs of Journey socks from Husband. I have a second one here. They're so good. These are really, really good. They um, look like professionally made. Not professional. You're obviously a professional. but no, they I look know what you mean. They machine look made. Yeah, yeah, they look manufactured. So I'm doing a pair in red and a pair in black. And the second black sock is like to here. So I'm going to finish it and gift it. You guys won't see these again because he's really excited for these. Yay. Uh, but they're identical. So he'll be able to wear them like mix matched or like the two reds and the two blacks. So I love it. They're really like good. Them. This is a They're good really sock. They're really good. I really enjoy these. Um, I'm excited. I'm hoping I have enough of this Desert Vista Dye Works left that I can make myself a pair of the, jo the Journey socks. Can't talk. Um, Did you say a whole pair takes about 20 grams? 40 or? grams. 40 grams. So with one, one sock, sock is... Yeah. Okay. Um, there, it's just one size in the pattern. Um, but Buddy and I are the same like foot circumference. So of course I just yeah. make it longer for him. And I think it would be easily modified. Like if you've knit socks before, you have basic sock knowledge, you could go up or down and just adjust your numbers. I really, really like these. I can't remember this yarn dyer. It's, can you use that glass right there without showing everyone my pergina? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I let you say things? I might cut that out. <laughs> I think this is right. Hone it yarn. Yeah, it was... I call it hoe knit yarn. What's it called? I think it's hot knit yarn. No, I'm pretty sure it's hoe. That's French. Okay. It's actually oh, but like okay, yeah. well not hoe. It's hoe knit. I'm pretty sure it's hoe knit. Anyway, um, <laughs> I had two fifty gram skeins, so that's what I'm using. Although now that I say that out loud, I have like way more than this is what I. Well, maybe not. This is what I have left of the red after that pair, so I'm gonna have to weigh that and see how much I used. I might do like a stripey pair if I have enough that I could make that work. Um, Were they 50-50? Yeah. Oh, okay. 50 black and 50 red. Okay. I don't think I have anything else to say about that. I bought these from the Yarn Adventure truck when it came to Conway a while back in the summer. And I like them a lot. And Buddy's really excited. I'm excited to have them done. You used a uh, nine, uh, sorry. You used US 1, 2.25 millimeter. Used a nine inch except for the toes. I used a 16 inch Zerk. 
two sixteens. <laughs> I was like, ooh, girl. I'm bold. I'm um, sleep, so I'm just gonna put it right here. Stretch it out. She's touching me with her foot. Ooh, girl, look at them toes. Okay. <laughs> Your toes are so nice. Thank you. Sell them feet. Okay. This is my last FO. It is a flax light kind of. I do a couple modifications. It's the tin can. It's numbers. Basically, all I use is their numbers for sizing. Um, and I roughly got gauge, so I was like, this is fine. Um, I've knit so many flaxes that I, I literally can just do them in my sleep. It's almost like knitting a sock. So I did I two that. by two ribbing. Once I figure out my first count and my last count, that's all I need. Yeah. Um, I did this using my Wooly Mama Yarns Advent from 2021. I used every color except for the main. So I used 24 colors. And then I did I love. a longer rib for the sleeves because it needed a little length. Yeah. This is still a three quarter sleeve for my nieces. They're <laughs> long and skinny girls. Um, this is the size two to four T. And um, let's see, math. Um, I think I used a two and a five, like a five for the main body, US five, and a two for the wow. cuff and the ribbing. Um, Cinch in cuffs, I love them. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what the pattern calls for. Are you okay? okay? My foot's asleep. I'm dying. I'm sorry, folks. Um, so I'm just going to stretch over here. Don't mind me. What I did so that all of my stretches would be even widths is just measure the length that it needed to be from here to here, which was 12 inches. Lucky. I had oh 24 gosh, colors. Genius. So I had to do just a half inch, which ended up being four rows. So that is so satisfying. It was so like that, perfect. That could not be better. Um, and it fits even and numbers. It's cute. So that just feels lucky. Yeah. And I just kind of fudged it with the colors because it came in random order and I used it for I my like your order. <laughs> yeah, I like this order better. Okay. And we're back. So we're back. That was a dog barking. So we're going to um we finished FOs. Yes. We're gonna go into whips. Whips. Whip, Whip it, it out. out. <laughs> what you got working? Right now I'm just rewinding okay. yarn, so I've got I'm not like knitting. actively knitting on anything yet. I'm not either, and we're not wearing knitting, which we usually talk about in the beginning, but we're not. Um, no, it's warm. So I started these socks on the Zoom call, and I started them with those collage needles that you gave yeah. me, the collage squared needles, but I took those out because I was getting a really weird gauge. It was so tight, hmm. um, and I was trying to, these are for a man, so like, yeah. <laughs> but this is a yarnable. Hypnotic beach yarn beach ball, which was August 2020, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're coming out so good. And this is what um, Jenny from Mountain State Stitches messaged me about. She just knitted a pair of socks like this too. Oh yeah. They came out way cuter than I thought they would. I know you did yours in a pattern, so I've seen it knit up before, but I saw it knit up in pattern. But I like how I like crazy and like staticky it looks. Um, this is just a vanilla sock cuffed down on US ones nine inch circulars and through the gusset i did a heel flop and gusset standard slip stitch heel <clears throat> which i call the maddie heel because that is what she likes yeah. <laughs> is that this this is in your pattern right i always link it to your pattern so i'm hoping yeah, my pattern's <laughs> a heel flop and gusset. but yeah so i've got one done this is the ball of yarn i think it's so pretty um but i would never wear it so it's going to a man and, and also <laughs> i don't know how his his feet are big so i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do figure it out i don't want to have to measure someone's foot that's gross <laughs> that's true and that's what i did for like any of my brothers like yeah numbers <laughs> true true that. i have enough brothers the odds are good so i just have that one that one will be finished the at least the sock will be finished like in the next couple days yeah so i'm through all the hard parts that's exciting yeah that that's the first sock, not the second. That's the first sock. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I've got a hoe. Ho. This is a sock for my friend Val. Yes. I love it. Val um, crocheted me a float tote. tote and I'm knitting them these socks. So uh, I'm through the heel on the second one. Just picked it up. I got like side, I worked so much. I had like no <laughs> downtime. Lots of whip, and I'm pretty much the hard part. I'm on the gusset of this one now, and then I'll get through the foot. I'm gonna do a second pair of socks for Val too, but I'm excited to have. The one I pair. love that color combo. It's so good. That's Targi, yeah. I'll talk about this bag and acquisitions, but yes, I believe so. No, it's alpaca. Alpaca. It's not Targi. Right. It's it's alpaca. alpaca it's. Yarn. I, I'm a podcaster. Look at me. It is the Alpaca Yarn Company Paca Paca Peds High Twist. 20% alpaca, 65% wool, 15% nylon. Nice. Yeah. Got it at 
Mockingbird Moon in Rogers. Yeah, love it. And I'm just using a US one 2.25 millimeter, nine inch cirque, and I love it. So that's my uh, one of my soft lips. I've got a few things going on. I do too, let's see. Um, oh, where's your muscle bird? Cause I have one right here. Mine's <laughs> almost done. It would have been a whip if I were a better. Foe. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a foe. This is La Bien Ami. Um, This tag's not in there. This tag might be in here actually. Would it be inside the ball? It's not. Oh. I'm almost out of the yarn now. Uh oh. Um, which is fine because I'm on the decreases. But I knit this, I started this a couple weeks ago for my movie knitting and then knit on it throughout like a week or so. And then I did not bring it on my trip with me. I just like got it to the decreases and then stopped. <laughs> so hopefully I finish this today. Um, this one's for me, so you'll see it again. I'll yeah. wear it when it's done. It's done. so pretty. And I did an adult medium for Good this colors. One. Yeah. Yours, all, like your gauge is always different than mine. So yeah. like your adult medium always comes out bigger than it's mine. It's like a large. Yeah. I should be doing an adult small, probably, honestly. I don't think they have that. They do. Oh, they do? They have all the sizes. This one's like big. It's like long. It's I'm gonna be able to fold it up a lot, but I'm fine with that. I knit most of this during Batman because that movie was like ten years long. It was so, so it's long. like I got through the increases, took it to Batman, and then it was like zoop, and then I think I made the entire hat outside of the increases and decreases during Batman. That's a lot of hat. Which is so much a lot and of now bat that I'm talking about Batman, <laughs> I want to go to a movie so bad. I haven't been to a movie in like two weeks. Oh my god! I might go to he a movie went to tonight. a movie right before you left. No. The Saturday before you left? Oh, you went to dinner. Um, yeah, I, um, I had dinner with my uncle. I saw Batman too. I didn't like it. I guess I shouldn't tell you. I mean, it was podcast. fine. Never mind. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Batman was okay. I liked um, it. It was really good. I started this one oh, yesterday or the day crazy. before. This is a Musselberg, just the beginnings, and I have it bunched up because I tend to pull them right off the needle tips. Same. So um, I'm doing a helical five skein well five minis you're crazy for <laughs> these sure. are the mandy's makings that i got from val yeah so ooh, from our pal val our pal val <laughs> so good Wait, I love that. i'm missing a ball oh there it is <laughs> yeah i've got two oranges she's hiding this chaos yes yeah, let's not talk about it um a purple a blue a bright yellow and i just kind of like mixed them up i didn't want it to be like kind of fading into each other so it looks very staticky again i really like that that like bright yellow in there but um basically <laughs> i didn't want the increase i didn't wiggle with the increases you know i didn't want to figure out how to divide everything by five up at the front so i was just like whatever i'll just worry about that later i'm gonna do my increases in this color this will be the inside of the hat no matter what <laughs> it works. and i'm excited i really like how it's going it's going slower than a regular Musselberg, but not, not that much because I'm just slipping the last three or the first three stitches of every color. I don't really, the last three, the last three of every color, I just slip them and move on to the next ball of yarn. So yeah, it's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Musselberg by Isolde Teague. I need to cast on another Musselberg because um, it's my go-to movie knitting. So yeah, I when you finish to, this one. <laughs> yeah, I need to pick up, pick a skinny yarn out of my stash or maybe mm -hmm. I'll use one of the skins I just acquired. I could do a stripy tweed muscle burn. Ooh, with tweed? That, with this guy? I'll show it in acquisition. Okay. I'm getting ahead of ourselves. Um, My last whip is a sweater. Are, you, are we ready for that? I have, I have a top and yeah, I'll just jump Go in. For it. This is my sweater for Buddy, my husband. Bud Bud. This is the Montrealer sweater. I am knitting out of Wool of the Andes, Knit Picks, blah, blah, blah. Look at it. Yay! Look at it. Yeah. He's so excited. Every time I pick it up to knit on it, he just gets really excited. It's really cute. It matches his socks. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Like, well, wow, for his favorite cute. colors. <laughs> They're his favorite, but it's like literally, shades of red can vary widely. That's a real good match. Yeah. It made me happy. Um, and yours are not hot pink at all. <laughs> it's not hot pink at all. There's no, no controversy there. What is happening? There. Oh, my are AirPods dying. are dying? <laughs> Why do you need to know that? I don't right know. It's like... Leave but alone. I'm like through the body. I'm to the point where I need to put in markers for the pocket and then I'll knit down for a little bit, bind it off. Then I go back and do the pocket. Then I go back and do the sleeves and I do a hood. So I have oh, a lot. Yeah. I keep all this in my Mrs. Brown's bag, bag that buddy got me for Valentine's day, the year we got married. I love that bag. I'm really excited about this. I like the gauge. I like everything about it. Um, I'm gonna switch it to, I'm gonna put my Supernatural stitch markers on it in a little bit that I got in the mail while I was out of town. 
But yeah, that's all. It's like very vanilla, just stripey right now. So I need to work on that. I'm excited. I've got two more whips. I have more whips, but I only brought out the relevant whips. The like one I that have you're some actually shawls and some on. things that I haven't touched since last time. So I didn't think I would bog us down with that because I knew we'd be chatter heavy. I'm doing a second of the same sweater I just showed you. I love it. Because I made that one for Maymay, the mm -hmm. first one, and Eden saw it. Yeah. So now my other niece is going to get one too. Shut I think up. I'm going to make this so one cute. a little bit wider. So I'm just going to add a couple more increases in the raglan and make the body a little shorter. So it'll still use the same amount of colors and the same stripes. But um, Maymay's like a little wider and shorter than Eden. Yeah. And this one fit Eden like a glove. It felt fit like a long sleeve yeah. t-shirt. So I was like, well, this one will actually be Maymay. So I've got all my yarn in here and all my ends. <laughs> I'm going to switch it to a bag, probably one of my um, oh snap bags. Yeah. And take out the colors that I finished. And I still have enough. Like I've made a full ending. sweater with mine. Um, supposedly, these two to four T sweaters take about, about 100 grams. I and mean, I have an enough to do another one. Yarn. Like so, 24, 20 gram minis is a ton of yarn. And I used the contrasting color in my sweater too. This is the Calypso by Arkansas Yarn Co. Yeah. So I used this in my grown sweater and it's still, I still have tons. So I'm going to use that for theirs. And we're all three going to match. And I got them little white dresses to wear underneath them, like skater dresses. Are you going to have a family photo shoot? I think we need to. I, I need a white dress too. Yeah. I'm so cute. Sleep again. Yeah, Guys, we're sitting this awkwardly. Is bad. So, I'm sorry if I just make like <laughs> shocked facial expressions. Yeah, it's just like the pins and needles. Okay, I'm good. I'm so that down. is that, and then I have one more, which is yeah. I cast on. I might have another one in here too. I don't I know. Love this bag so I much. cast on. Oh, this is my uh, black pearl magic bag. It's ice cream cones. It's beautiful. It's huge, and I got mine at the Yarn Adventure truck too. Yeah. I still have not purchased one of her uh, Laveau bags. Those yeah, clear glitter bags. Ones. She has zippers on all of hers. I want snaps. I know she's working on snaps, so. You're waiting. I'm waiting. I'm really excited. That's but fun. I don't like zippers because I am, I can't be trusted. She'll be breaking yarn. I break yarn. She I, I'm just like, yarn. ooh, I'm just going to pull it. And that's stupid. So stop putting zippers on your yarn bags. I'm just kidding. Do what you want. Or just don't buy them. Yeah, I just, I won't. <laughs> Funny. Um, so yeah. this is my summer swirl that I recast on. I decided to do the same size I was doing before and I'm just going to try it on again because the sizes, I was like, there's no way, there's no way if I size down that that's going to fit over my boobs. Yeah. So are you going to try and do some shaping to make it like decrease after your boobs? I think I'm just going to trust the process and think that blocking is going to make that rippling go away. Okay. I mean, it happened for your, um, love note remember how you thought it was like was so like, bunchy and stuff yeah. so that's like my problem with it is it feels really bunchy i've already done like almost all of the lace work in the summer swirl not lace but the pattern section um and then i ripped it nice. out so i'm doing it again and i've only gotten this far i don't think i really enjoy knitting this top so i'm also gonna end up casting on like some more tops just because i want to be knitting on stuff that's on my make nine yeah and this one's just not uh, motivating for me. So I want to knit it. I want the project. So I will knit it. I think it'll call to you at some point. Maybe yeah. it's the weather warms up more. I think so. And I love the colors, but this is my, um, I'm on row seven or six, I think seven of the first chart. I have my little row counter here. I love this thing. I gave one to Lindsay in our, um, yeah, our swap, our swap because I get so much use out of it. I love it so much, but I don't know if she likes it. <laughs> But I love these things, these row counters. They are so helpful because on stuff like this where I get frustrated, I want to put it down. And then what happens? You yeah, get you lost. Never figure it out. I can't figure it out. So yeah, that is there. <clears throat> but I think, is that it? That's all the whips I have to talk about. I feel like it's kind of like knitting light today. Yeah. It didn't feel like it was going to be. We bought a lot though. I realized that I hadn't had socks on the needles. That's why I cast on that oh. other sock. I was like, well, I don't have no socks. I need That's socks crazy. on the needles. That's it. I only have one pair of socks. I mean, I do have a child sock that I'm not going to knit. Oh, I have this one. I started a jelly roll sock. I started out for saying that I'm doing a swap with her. She's making me a float tote and I'm knitting her some socks. So I started this jelly roll. This is Dreaming Color. Um, one of their sock sets. I think my gauge is off. Like, I did something funky at the heel. It ended up with, like, a really wide gusset. So I think I'm probably going to frog back and... <laughs> 
I'm gonna sneeze Start again. Start over. I'm gonna go get a tissue. Okay. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Should we go into acquisition? Let's talk about shit and buy. Let's talk about how we were both on, well, not really, but like, I was supposed to be on a yarn diet. I was on like a mild yarn diet. I was on just like a buy less diet, but then Me I too. traveled. So it's like, I went to McKinney. Can't degree, count. So that doesn't count. And some of it like, actually I bought a lot of bags. I bought three bags and I'm not gonna apologize for those, so. And we got some presents and some subscription oh stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah. So. Wow, we have some stuff. <clears throat> Let me, I gotta finish this stitch, put this down and focus on the lovely stuff. My first acquisition is this mug I found at a farmer's market right across the street from McKinney Knittery. That's beautiful. Is this not insane? It's got, in like the inside bottom, there's like a butterfly stamped inside and then it has from it, so you see it, so look at the bottom. <laughs> Cute. I love it a lot. I love it. Is that all glaze work? Or is it like textured? Can I? It's textured a little oh. bit. It's beautiful. I have her card. She's incredible. That is amazing. I talked to her for like 20 minutes. She was so sweet. Did you marry her? Mm. <laughs> yeah, You sure. like her so much, why don't you marry her? Did you not ever talk like that as a child? Oh my gosh. Me and my sister said that to each other all the time. That's um funny. I just have piles and piles of goodies. Scoot, scoot, scoot. We don't talk about fruit. No, okay, so, stop. <laughs> the first one I kind of showed you earlier, I got two bags from Stitching Plaza, two separate orders. This one um, is the Broadway Playbill bag she did, which I purchased for my Orpheum knitting and then started using it immediately. And Georgianne, so freaking sweet. Oh she gosh. sent me a Notions pouch that matched and I love it. I don't have any Notions in it right now. Um, so it's just sitting in there, which is- I got one too. A stupid waste of space. Not the notions pouch, but the fact that I'm not no. using it. <laughs> What's in there? I put something in there. Oh, yeah. why oh these I... are stitch markers. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, why am I not using it? I just put it in there. It's so, so cute. Dumb. I love it so much. I like, love this one. I love Jordan's bags. They're good, scrunchy. They're great size and they're lovely. So that's my first one. That, I'm like, I don't know the chronological order of when I acquired these things, but I think this was first. Then, my other, I'll show my other Georgianne real quick. Yeah, because that one's good. This one, um, Georgianne and Ash, Georgianne of Stitching Closet and Ash of Vessel Stitch Co. did a Supernatural collab. So I, this is the bag. It's beautiful. It's so good. <laughs> it's like the polka dots. Yeah, and then Ash sent these stitch markers. Um, well, I purchased them, not Ash, so, to be clear, I guess, but they're like Supernatural themed. And I love them a lot. I've I been think watching they still have them, right? They do. I think I saw Georgian post that she had three. And then, gosh, or Georgian freaking threw in a cozy. She's so sweet. I love it. I just love her. She, um, we have a coupon code for Stitching Plaza. So we'll put that down below. I think it's WSN Friend. We had that last time. So I hope it's still good. It but is. I must put it down there. there. It's good through like April 1st, maybe April Ooh, I 15th. might have put Friends on the last one. Yeah, she had to change it. So I sent you a screenshot when she changed it. Um, but anyway, I believe it's just one, no. Just SP. one friend. You're just one yeah. friend. You're our only friend, <laughs> Georgianne. <laughs> I love them. So that's my other purchase from her. I'm excited to put a project in these. These are really fun. Oh, that's a good bag. Yeah. What do you have? Um. Let's. Well, I have that one from Georgianne. It's yeah. beautiful. I love floss. I think it's so cute. It um. And it is gonna have my little scissors in it. My little snippies, snippy boys. Okay. So I have a lot of stuff. I don't know. What should, what should I start with? So I'll start with the sweater stuff I got from Knit Picks. Um, right? So I got this for, we talked about last time, the Arkansas Yarn Crawl sweater. We like to knit a matching garment while we all knit the same project and then um, take a picture together on one of the days. So we talked about last time not wanting to knit it, but of course we're gonna knit it. So I just purchased yarn that's less expensive because I don't think I'm, you know, going to be Loving excited it. to wear it. But I don't know. In these colors, maybe I will. I'm missing one of my balls. We both have, like, we severe go. FOMO. So, like, we're not going to not knit it. I no. got these four. This is the colorway. I think it's eucalyptus. Is that fingering? It's fingering. Stroll fingering. Yeah, eucalyptus it's tonal. Thick. Yeah, it does look thick. It's very fluffy. Look how it's wound so gentle. So this is going to be my main color. Well, I, I think it's actually called your contrast color, but it's like the whole body is going to be knit in this. And the okay. pattern is Boxy Chevron by Suzanne Summers or Summer. And this is going to be my contrast. So it's going to be very different for me, very wearable. 
because yeah. I love these colors, but yeah. yeah. So it's a more affordable way of knitting something that I don't really want to knit. Same. Same. <laughs> but I like this. I like this a lot. It's good. Um, I'm really worried about the shaping of that garment. I'm and really worried about silly. everything in general because so. I'm anxious. But also, yeah, I'm going to use my the yarn that I frogged my Weekender Light, the light blue. Then I'm going to pick a contrast color out of stash. So I'll decide on that eventually. Oh, and this color was called so Pearlescent Tonal. It's very yeah. pretty. It's got like, like light kind of purpley and light greens in it, but it's really just cream. So it's really good. Like that. I think that's going to be a very wearable look for me mm -hmm. if I knit it. I'm going to. I'm we going to. See. Am I going to cast that on now? No. Uh, <laughs> no. Then let's see. Do you have your Ruthie Jane fibers? Yeah. I have mine too. And we can show that. Yes. This, our cutie cutie. Yeah, so this was sent to us. Um, Ruthie Jane fibers, Stephanie. It smells good. I love when people send like when I open a box and there's like one for me and one for Kristen and cause it's just like so obvious cause it came <laughs> to my office and it's like obviously one for me and one for Kristen and it just made me happy. <laughs> this is the colorway Spring Rain. And mine's called Tulips, I believe. Yes, Tulips. And look at how cute the little cat is. Gosh, I love it. <laughs> this is an 80-20, which is awesome. A high twist, so it's like the favorite base that I love from Stress Knits. Um, I literally might cry talking about this next thing. Like, I just can't get over it. This is so cute. So Stephanie sent us, she dyes yarn. She has two <sighs> Instagram accounts, one for her yarn, Ruthie Jane Fibers, and one for her cross-stitch. She cross-stitched these, one for me and one for Kristen. They're identical. It's so cute. It's me. And, and it's me. Christy. We're even sitting like this right now. <laughs> I have a nice coffee. Are you wearing the maroon color too? Because I'm wearing that oh my color. God. Yes. <laughs> we should have dressed like this. <laughs> we are. <laughs> but we should have been like exact. Yeah. Like I should have worn a cream really shirt. Cute. And like... It's adorable. I cannot wrap my mind around the fact that <laughs> Kristen and I. <laughs> like over a year ago just decided to sit down and start talking to a camera for funsies and then someone we have never met is impacted enough by us to <sighs> choose to sit down and do this twice twice <laughs> two for me and one for Kristen, and then put together a box with these with yarn to write sweet notes to Don't both of us <laughs> i'm gonna cry so i'm gonna make you cry. i just I can't agree cry. every time you guys send us stuff whether it's just like a message on Instagram or a package or a prize for the I just can't get over it. Like, I love you guys so much. This is so incredible. I'm gonna stop talking about it so I don't cry, but this is incredible. I'm gonna hang it in the yarn room. Mine's hanging over my bed. I... <laughs> and look how she. I know. That is how I wanna finish my embroidery now, because that's beautiful. I literally think I sat and stared at this and did nothing except look at it for three hours the day it came. Yeah. And it was like in the middle of my training and I was like exhausted and emotional and just like at my wits end. And it was just like a moment of like, I must be doing something right. Like something's working. If somebody <laughs> did this for me, that's incredible. <sighs> so it meant a lot to me. It meant, anyway. It's really, really Thank cute. Thank you so much. And Stephanie. she does those. I think she takes commissions through her Instagram page. She does um, uh, portraits. So like if you have like a family that you want done or like a dog or something, she does a really good job. We'll link both of her stuff below as we do with all the shops. Yeah. But um, so cute. Thank you, Stephanie. That was adorable. It's amazing. Yeah. It's really, really amazing. Whew, moving on. I bought a Mount Safe Stitches bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. Another? <laughs> I mean, look at it. Could I not? It's friends. I it's love so it. It's so cute. I did just get the small. I was really tempted to get the small and the large, but it's got like black polka dots inside. This is amazing. I have I'm yarn in it, but I'm going to knit for Samantha, who crocheted me a float tote. So that's in there, ready to cast on some good old vanilla socks for her. Love it. That's another acquisition. <laughs> then I just have a bunch of yarn. I have a bunch of yarn. I have uh, my Wooly Mama. I guess this is, what month is this? Mm, February. <laughs> this is the February box. It takes forever to come from um, Europe, but this is her Strictly Neon Yarn so Club good. month of February. I got it like a week and a half ago. Um, I don't think she's naming these ones, which always makes me sad. I like when they have names, but it's just a neon speckle. 
is very bright and pretty. I hear it too. It's a fly just like having a fit up there. Um, but very me, very cute. Love it. Really, really I like you. it. Um, that is one of my yarn boxes that came. We got Yarnable in too. We did. Um, for the March Yarnable, of course. Well, I guess it was the... It's okay. March. March, anyway. It's obviously like a St. Patty's Day themed shenanigans. We also got a gnome pattern that I'm definitely gonna knit with so it. So cute. And look at that, would you believe? Who got <laughs> that mini? It's our friend. Who that mini? Our That's friend. our friend. I love it. It's very I've good. I've been seeing the gnome pattern that came up with it pop up on Instagram and it's like using the green as the body and then like a little black and a little gold and then a little speckled beard. And it also came with these stitch markers, which I need to change out the findings and stick them on a project. Oh, I didn't even notice the findings. Uh, They're just the regular clasps. These are for thread, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Very I really cute. Love this. It's not often that I actually knit the pattern that comes with a, a subscription box, because I'm just kind of picky. But this is like the perfect mashup of my favorite people. It's Yarnable, it's Lori, it's Three by the Sea, it's those gnome patterns. Like, it's just really great. So I'm excited to knit that. I'm probably gonna take that up soon. I got the, um, oh, the yeah. Vessel Stitch Co. March box as well. So it's a stitch marker subscription box. I ordered this because I just, last year's I felt like were so cute and I really mm -hmm. wanted it. And I know that she's been partnering with Sinful Yarns lately with her, she does like a mini in the box too. Such a good deal. And I got it right before St. Patty's Day and I really wanted to cake it up and knit something, but I didn't. So you should have. I know, but here are the stitch markers this year. We've got a rainbow and like gold coins. Fun. They're really cute. I love gold. I know a lot of people don't like the gold findings and stuff, but I love the gold because I feel like it, it pops from your knitting a lot more. A lot of my knitting has like white base kind of yarn in it. So it's, I feel like the gold like just really pops. Cute. And it came with this um, pin. Oh. Fun. It's so cute. It says follow your daydream. Very cute. And then it came with candy, which I ate. <laughs> and this mini from Sinful Yarns, That's which is so gonna good. be such a good cozy, cozy, cozy. Whatever. Yeah. It could be either. Yeah. It's really, really pretty. I love the colors, very like rainbow and fun. And I think that the candy was like rainbow Skittles and Starburst, and it was really yummy. Mm. Um, but yeah, so I got that. She does hers monthly and they ship like mid month. So I think that her April box is already up on the site for order and then you'll get it like mid April. Cool. Um, but I love, I love We it. love her. Yes. Um, Ash has been a lovely supporter of us all and she donates prizes for almost all of our mouths and she's super sweet. We love her. Very sweet. We love her a lot. Um, you got more? Yeah. Um, so I got a prize from the pigskin party, which is the knit along um, that Boston Gin hosted for football season. Um, I got a gift card to Fiber Nymph Dye Works, and I ordered this um, Fiber Nymph Dye Works 11th anniversary Follow Your Path <laughs> BFL Tweed Mountain Sock Set. And it came with two minis. I took one out and unwound it, so that's why it looks weird. I also ordered the Hiya Hiya needles from the shop. So that's where those came from. But look at this, it's tweed and self-striping. And I'm really, really thinking about making this a muscle bird. That's gonna be so pretty. And cozies, because like, I just can't get over that. And then like, ugh. We should knit the cozy first, cake up the yarn and stick it in there. Well, I'm actually thinking koozies, like a bottle koozie. Oh. Or like bottle and can with these guys. I like it. Because I don't know, something about the tweed is just like, I want this on a white cloth can. Something about it. I'm what just thinking. What if you did a stripey journey set with those minis? I could. Or like one sock and one sock if you wanted. Oh, that's crazy. I like it. I totally could. I don't know why I'm just like really thinking can cozies. Yeah. Those are mini natty patterns. Um, she's got lots of cozies. Lots of cozies. I got the cozy bundle and I got Me all too. of the other cozies too. I was like, yep. Okay. Love like, them. So I don't know, I'm thinking, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I don't know why I love stripey socks, but I've never done a stripey muscle bargain. and you've done like a billion. <laughs> so. I know, now I'm getting wild with my stripey muscle bargain. You're, yeah, you're just crazy you over there. knitting and just I having just a good time. It. That is really pretty. I love the, the, the tone. The tweed, too, that's yeah. so cool. I've never seen stripey tweed, that's interesting. I'm so pumped about it. So yeah, um, mm -hmm. I think that's I'm gonna break those up and cast that on because like that's super it. exciting. I like it, I like it. And then my last stuff, I went by McKinney Knittery. So I've Ooh. got 
She was at when, McKinney while I was at Arkansas Yarn Co. Yeah, so <laughs> that was weird being at Yarn Stories Hold apart. On. I was like, well, this isn't the same, but they like go together nice. really good. <laughs> I love it. This is Magpie mm -hmm. Swanky Sock. Um, I'm a huge fan of Magpie fibers. Every time I go to McKinney, I end up picking some up. It's an 8% merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. Um, and I've used it in my shawlography and like it's, I've used it in a lot of shawls. I haven't used it as socks, but I think this one will be socks for me. Although very pretty, but I feel like you have two now muscle burners yeah, in that same in that mane. Yeah. So probably <laughs> socks. I love this. And then the other I got um oh like last year I went to McKinney Motory and I picked up this suburban stitcher slub in the colorway boardwalk. I got three skeins of it because that's all I had. And I was gonna do like a rocket tee or something like that with the slub, but then um Nicole Professor Pearl literally just DM'd me about this, which is so funny, like right before I started talking about it. But she wore a sweater she had knit. I cannot remember the name of the sweater, but it's like a fingering and mohair held double body with just mohair sleeves. And they had two skeins of boardwalk in mohair. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna use them together for sure. And I think I wanna do that with like the mohair sleeves. And um, something about that just makes me also want more tattoos on my arm. Because, like, <laughs> honestly, I'm, like, to like just, show it through. I just want like coffee tattoos all over my Yeah, because like it'll just be like mohair and then tattoo. Love. <laughs> but um, I'm so excited to use those together. I want to cake them up right now. But I really want to finish Buddy's sweater first. Yeah. This is not a color. It's called like, kind of my vibe, but this is not... A color you normal. wear often. No, no for it's me. It's more yellowy than your normal green. Yeah. It's usually like a more like cool tone green. And it's kind of crazy. It's got like orange, green, mint, um, a little bit of like a pinky maroon. It has everything. Yeah. And it's going to be just so texturally fun. I'm super excited about that. Um, and to my little McKinney Mimmery bag, which I love their bags. They just do like the plain and then stamp them. They're so cute. <sighs> to knit that. <laughs> Although I will probably not cast that on until after I have started my boxy chevron. Wah, wah. Boo. But those should go Boo. fast because it should be all vanilla once we get to the yeah. body. What else do you got? I went to Arkansas Yarn Co. while you were at McKinney oh, Knittery. Me. I know. I went with Lindsay. Always yarn first. Um, and I got to see some sneak peeks of stuff because they're working on the Sock Yarn Society, oh, yeah? which is about to hit subscription. I'm so yeah. excited for it to be subscription. So That's going to be so cool. I'll link below because you're going to have to sign up to get notified because at this point, when she runs out of spaces, she's out. And so she wants to make sure she can do a couple months with that amount of people. And I think it's like... It's like 100. Yeah. yeah she's going to um, like... Right now, I think they maybe do 50 boxes. And when she makes the subscription, she's going much larger. And it's comparable to like a yarnable subscription box. So it's like my Wooly Mama yarn is just a yarn skein. That's it. Um, and it's a little cheaper except for shipping, which is crazy. And I talked to her about it. I asked her because I didn't know. I said, Lori, do you ship worldwide? And she said, yeah, girl. And I was yeah, like, girl. oh, she's like, this is an international operation. I and I was her. like, I love you. Yeah, she's so funny. We had funny car. I'll talk about it later. Yeah. But um, I got... Two of just single fingering skeins that are variegated because I'm stupid. This is what I told myself I wasn't going to do. I said, if I'm going to get yarn, it's going to be, I know, right? So fun. <laughs> it's going to be stash um, enhancements, enhancements, which would, for me, I need tonals. I need mm -hmm. solids. Um, but I, I could not resist how beautiful this is. It's a high twist base for this one. Love. This is the colorway. It's a bit nippy out and it's not, but this is on her yummy high twist. It's got such a good texture. And then this one is on her Yummy Plush. And it's really pretty too. This one's called Princess Christine, which I say Princess Kristen. I don't know who Princess Christine is, so. Yeah, she should have just named it after you. Princess Kristen. These are my favorite colors, so she should have. But she don't love me like that. Um, so these are just my single skeins. <clears throat> with no projects in mind, which love. means that is bad Kristen. Naughty. Horrible. Naughty. Um, this is going to be a girl in the grocery girl from the grocery store by Hohi Locatelli um, for my grandma. Those colors, so incredible. Below, if you can comment and let me know which one should be my main color and which one should be my stripes with the bottom. I think this should be main and this should be lace. Really? Yeah. Because I'm thinking that the bottom, like you know, like the heavier bit, should be darker because that's just how my eye goes, mm. like light to dark. 
But I don't know. What do you think? I like do you the think idea of the lace being lighter? In my right. Mind. I like the idea of that too. And then, but then this these stripes are gonna look so crazy across like this yeah, dark. So I don't know. Good. These are both Malabrigo. The color is Malabrigo sock, which we don't use for socks. Which is not sock. We don't use for, it sock, for sock. Yarn companies don't label stuff that doesn't have nylon sock. It's not sock. Rude. This is just fingering. Deceptive. Weight. Um, but this is still the color Jasmine. And then this one is the color Fiona. Ooh, they're really good. princesses. Oh, this is a Disney collection. Are they? Yeah. Is all Fiona the Disney? Fiona is not Disney. She Shrek, right? It's not Disney. Is Brave Disney? Is her name Fiona? I've never watched that I'm one. I'm sure this is part of the Disney. But this looks like cool. Jasmine T, and this does yeah. remind me of Shrek. So that's a good curl. That's what look at. A good curl. Oh my um, <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. And I'm so snotty right now. Okay. But these are going to be for my grandma. It's her birthday in a week. So hopefully I will finish it and send it. So you might not see it as an FO, but I'll take pictures. Um, I knit the girl from the grocery store. It didn't take that long. Um, and I used different colors. I think my grandma's going to love this. Her favorite color that. is like a deep green like this. Those are so, good. so I think this is going to look really good. My grandma lives in Palm Desert, so it's hot as balls there. But <laughs> I think that she'll wear like a light shawl. I think the fingering yeah. and like the lacy bits just really easy to dress like up and down or to like yes like scrunch it up around your neck or like really really light and drapey or I think it's perfect. What else I did got you get? size five tips because I needed them. Just the tips. Um, I just got the tips. Just the tips. Um, tips plural too. Um, stop. <laughs> You're terrible. Okay, that was for Chevyrel. Hi, Chevyrel. Hey, <laughs> Just the tips. They should repackage these. They've missed an opportunity. Um, <laughs> we should open a yarn store, and then that's how we label all of our Should our yarn needles. store be called We Share Needles? No, or it'll be just called the Whip tips? It Out. <laughs> <laughs> Whip our, It Out, just the tips. <laughs> on our Zoom call, um, last week, my terrible. husband walked in the room while we, and I literally, like, as I said, Whip It Out. Yeah. And he was like, what the He's like, what's happening? Happen um, oh my god! Oh, yeah, it fits so. Good. It's tighter it's good than I thought one. it was gonna be. Well, it's not finished. You no, in like a it. really good way. Like yeah. my other ones are too loose, and I'm like, Mwah. wishing it was. <gasps> it's beautiful. It's got like a wider brim than normal. Yeah, it's long. That's a long boy. I like a long boy. <laughs> hey, one You're the bad one this time. We all I want mean. it long. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> okay. I'm going to wear it with a string hanging down, needles on top. I still have purchases. <laughs> so those tips are because I wanted to knit another top and the summer sorrel's already on fives and I gave you back your five squared needles. Your, Why'd you give them back? Uh, them. Because I don't have the shorter ones for like the neck um, and all of my tops are, are knit top down. So I need to yes, cast yes. on smaller. Um, I see, I see. So... Inspired by you, I got yarn to make the Christina hat by IROC Knit. That's who that. did the pattern, right? Correct. Um, this is the Illimani um, in the color Ooh. Amelie. It's very pretty. I love this yarn. It's so soft. very soft and thick. Um, <laughs> we're terrible. Okay, but because this is a hat that has beads, Lori also sells beads, and I picked mermaid beads they're so, so pretty for you, well i think these are called the princess beads yeah. yes this one's gonna be for me i'm yes. sure my mom will steal it um and i'll let her you can just put it on the coat yeah coat thing and we have a coat it. rack and she can yeah um so i love these beads they're pink purple and blue they're called the princess beads i thought they were the mermaid beads the mermaid beads had green so mm. i was incorrect but i also got the beetle needle from Arkansas Yarn Co. So like the whole set, perfect together, ready to go. And I think that's all I bought. <laughs> that's that's all. all. You know, beetle needles, Can we, you yeah, that? I just showed that. My beetle needle, we've shown it on the podcast before because Maddie has one. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted so. because my doorbell rang. Oh, who is here? It's loading. Um, Probably a package. Hopefully, that's why I was checking <laughs> to see if I should go get it to open it. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so. Why would there be post on Sundays? Should, there's no post on Sundays. There's no post on Sundays. There's no post on Sundays. Correct. Can we hold up all of our yarn and stuff and, and take a screeny? Because we haven't had a screeny in a long time and I've been having to work for it. And I don't want to work for it anymore. That's what she said. I don't want to work. Same. I don't want to work. Just want to thing on my drum all day. Our episode is going to be called Yarn Diet. <laughs> 
friend. <laughs> I love it. Very good. Very good. I hope, should I leave this part in the episode? No. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, so we're on a yarn diet. Did we do good? No. <sighs> okay, so I think that wraps up oh, it's just my neighbor. yarny good times, yeah? I think my cat is in my bedroom stuck. You think he's stuck in your bedroom? So I think we're gonna pause and okay. go up the door. Hi, Cap. She's so Sweet. cute. Okay. So that's the end of yarny stuff. Yarny stuff. We did a lot of yarny stuff. I feel like that was pretty good. I mean, we yeah. did break our yarn diet. That's okay. Um, I'm not going to be ashamed of it right now because I've got other things I to think be ashamed of. You know, now that I'm <laughs> looking at mine, I had. Okay. It's beautiful. I purchased four skeins of yarn. One was my yarnable, one was a one skein of, ma of magpie, and then two of the mohair. Everything else was sent to me. Yeah. So it wasn't, other than the bags. I was never on a bag diet though. No, I was supposed to be buying bags. So at least half of what I purchased was actually to supplement something in stash. So I feel fine. Whatever. Okay. Um, I feel fine too. We're I'm great. I'm with it. All good. We're so good. So if you're only here for the yarny stuff and don't want to hear us chit chat about books and lives and anything else that we that comes to our mind that could be inappropriate and crazy, um, then it's, this yeah. is it for if, you. If it has already been too inappropriate, it's about to get worse. So um have a good day we Thanks hope for hanging out with us that you could you know come back for yarny good stuff yeah. we usually try to keep this craziness to the end so um if you liked what you saw subscribe and, and if you yeah. a like and a comment and all that jazz yeah and then come back next time for the beginning half like you do yeah. uh, are you ready to talk about all the other stuff let's talk about all the other stuff first off let's start with books what have you been reading, friend? What Where did, did I read? put my post-it? Because I've been under your butt. I've been reading. Um, okay, so first of all, let's talk about one thing that I did that I felt really bad for. So I've been reading the cozy mysteries. Yeah. I like them a lot. That's mm -hmm. my new favorite genre. And you know what? It feels like nothing. It feels so airy and like I'm not getting any susten sustenance from it. Sust Substance? Substance. Sustenance is food. Um, <laughs> That's me too. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to try to get out of that genre and, and read something like a little heavier. Yeah. So I did the same book you were doing, The Still Life by Louise Penny. Couldn't get into it. Everybody I'm says still they waiting like for it. it. Waiting from, from, the library. from the library because I just don't like reading paper books anymore. The audiobook is not good. Oh, yeah. um, it was really hard for me uh, because it's British, mm. it's slow. Um, even when you speed it up, it was not, it was like the plot wasn't Slow getting follow, there. Yeah. yeah, it was hard to follow. So I think I'll have to read that one, like actual word. It's the only book where I've actually, I returned it. I was like, I can't do it. And I just, yeah. I, yeah, I marked it off of my good reason was like, goodbye. Um, and thank goodness for good reads. Cause I wouldn't remember all of this stuff without it. So <laughs> pull mine up while you're talking. these are all the ones that I have finished. I have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, um, and maybe nine because I don't remember if I had finished an absolutely remarkable thing last time or not, which I, I, I hadn't. So I finished that one too. Nine books. Um, that one's by Hank Green, an absolutely remarkable thing. I finished it like right after recording last time, and he did end up um, narrating the end of the book because it's from a male perspective. So he did That's the end fun. of the book, and I was like, hey, it's Hank. And so that was really fun. Um, good book. I very much enjoyed that. That is not a cozy mystery. In fact, there was some like really gruesome bits and, um, it was still really good. Nice. Um, that was because I hadn't written anything, read and hadn't read. I had not read, had not read anything by a man. So I was like, oh, I'm going to pick a yeah, man we author. Yeah, were trying to be diverse. Yes. So, um, I read that. That was really good. Then, um, I had already finished Vampire Knitting Club books one and two, and I was waiting for book three and I waited and I waited and that person had had the book for like way longer than the two weeks that you're supposed to. And there was only one person before me. Like I was the first in line for the whole time. So I was like, okay, this person is just extending their book. So I was like, I don't want to have to wait for book four. I finished these really fast. So I took that one too and I got it. And then I was like, Jesus, this person is taking so long. I'm going to go ahead and grab book five. And so then I ended up having book four, five, and six from the library checked out and I was like oh my gosh they're still not done um and so I only had like three days left on book four and I got the book and I was like oh finally book three Are you so, yeah so I listened to that really quick um 
Vampire Knitting Club is good and not good. Uh, there's no substance. It is Love. twill. It's very silly. There's no uh, romance angle. There is. It's a dating romance, but not like weird sexy times that I don't like to listen to. I feel like that's so intrusive to me. I don't want to hear about it. I know you're doing it. Like, don't tell me all the details. I don't need that. Um, but it's fine if you like that, you know, that you do you, but <laughs> I'm like, warn me and like, <laughs> well, warn you, but also you refuse to read any synopsis or back cover or anything about a book. That's you true. want to go in blind. So you don't yeah. actually want the warning. No. You just want it to not exist. I just, well, no, because I can turn it off now. Now that I've done it once, I'll just think, okay, I'm done. I can't read that. That's done. Um, but, <laughs> um, I read books three through seven and oh I can't tell you anything about any of those books and normally I can but I mean the mysteries are fun they're not um it's not a difficult listen the narrator for the audiobooks is amazing I looked up the author finally because I was like this woman is crazy like she has like such like in interesting yeah. views on um everything and interesting word choices and stuff like that and so I looked her up and she's like in her 60s she's Canadian I thought maybe she was British because she keeps calling all the yarn wools like plural wools hmm. like I handed her the wools and I'm like what why do you keep saying that that's weird anyway I just <laughs> oh my gosh. I just finished book seven like yesterday that's the one with the Stephen West character Okay. His name is not Stephen West, but obviously. he is an obviously gay modern knitwear designer that gets young people and different people other than little old grandmas to knit large projects. And he's an over the top, like larger than life type person who loves embracing your mistakes. And like, I was like, that, that's Stephen. it's Stephen West and he's it. not the murderer and he's not murdered. So very good. I Thank you for not making books, him the murderer. But... <laughs> I wonder, so I was talking about it with, um, Lindsay and Lori and they were like is she a knitter and that's when I looked her up I'm like I don't think so she doesn't talk about and the main character is not a knitter hmm. she just owns a knitting shop but I thought it was really interesting um but the series is great I know a lot of people are reading it um I, I love the series I recommend it 10 out of 10 would recommend it's not good writing it's not like you know amazing but it's so cozy and so now I'm, that's all I'm looking for if you know if you have read them and you have other suggestions of similar type books send them my way because it's all I want to read because I've also read <laughs> sharp objects which is dark and did have some gross stuff in it in fact it's another Gillian Flynn book the same author who did Gone Girl her writing is a little dark like she definitely has like some stuff that I just don't like um, want to read about. <laughs> um, but it's a good book overall. I still liked it. And the mysteries are good and interesting and different. And I think mm -hmm. that one was a TV show. And now I want to go back and watch the TV show. Cool. I read The Other Black Girl by, I think her name is Zakia Dalila Harris. And it was supposed to be like Get Out. You see the movie Get yes. Out? So it's kind of like Body Snatchers kind of style. like, And it the plot was really good. The writing left a little something to be wanted. It was mm. a good social commentary. Definitely interesting. Definitely got get out vibes from it. Um, but like there, I wanted more. It was like, kind of a letdown. <clears throat> it wasn't necessarily a letdown, but I felt like it was too short. It needed more. I needed more details. I missed out on a lot of characters that were in mm. there that should have had interesting plot lines. And I think that that is, is it like a series or it's a one nope, and done? Just one and done. Oh, okay. And that's why I was like, oh, this needed more. Uh, maybe yeah. she'll write a sequel or something. But I thought it was good. The plot was good. Um, and yeah, interesting. Then I read The Air Affair. The Air Affair is the first in a supposedly mystery series book uh, for literary mysteries. So like people who like books. And like, it's going to solve mysteries based on books, but I did not like it at all. I think I gave it a one star. Um, the concept, really good. The writing, bad. Like, mm. not the writing, but like, they, they didn't, I don't know, I felt lost a lot of the time. Mm. The author's name is Jasper something. And I felt, I just felt lost, like I was missing information. Then I realized that you have to really know the book the mystery is about. So that was about Jane Eyre and I did not read that. And so there were characters from Jane Eyre popping up in modern times and I was like, 
I don't know that. They don't tell you, hey, this is a character from Jane Eyre popping up in modern times. They just give you the person's name. Um. Like, his name's Robert. Like, <laughs> could be anyone named Robert. So yeah. it was just like, I felt like I was out of the loop the whole time. I will not finish that series. It's a series. I think that a lot of people recommend that one too, but hmm. I didn't like it. I guess if you're someone who's really into the novels that it's based on, it would be like and a way everyone to get more of that. has. I guess it was like the plot devices really cool the time hopping like there's like time police like if you like what is that Doctor Who, Doctor Who. very very similar vibes to that except for like they don't tell you Literary. that it's happening hmm. you don't know that that's happening it was very interesting hmm. also they said it in like 1985 or something like that and I was like but it's not 1985 and the person who wrote it and there's like a Russian war. It was a lot. I didn't, <laughs> not for so me. it's modern day. Yeah, it was basically, I was like, eh. And so now I started reading The Lost Apothecary. That's the only one I'm currently That's reading. List. Yeah. It's good. Is I it like it so cool. far. It's not a cozy mystery. Um, it's got some historical stuff. It's got some modern stuff. And I, I like, it jumps between um, characters. Yeah. But it tells you the date and it tells you the name of the character at the beginning, which is very like important that. if you're reading an audiobook or listening to an audiobook. Mm -hmm. It's hard so. to pick up on some But so far I like it. I think I'm about halfway in, maybe nice. less. Um, I started it yesterday. I like it. But if you have any other cozy, uh, cozy mystery recommendations, send them my way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've got a couple on my list. One of them's like now a Hallmark TV show or something like that. <laughs> Jana would watch it with you. Yeah. That's fun. That's a lot of book talk from me. I did a lot less reading than Kristen. You were very busy. I was. Um, and I was lonely without you. I didn't finish anything in the past two weeks. I finished zero books. Um, well, zero fun books. I am about halfway through The Quarter Storm, um, which is by Veronica Henry. It's the one I told you about with like the um, the main characters, like a voodoo yeah, yeah, lady yeah, yeah. in New Orleans. And it's really good. Um, <coughs> weird point, like... Not a bad point, just like, it's one of those books where I don't feel like I got character descriptions up front, so I'm like finding out things about the characters throughout that are like, relevant things. Like, I'm over halfway and they just now described the main character as black. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why I wasn't picturing, but like, now they're giving a bunch of identifying features and like, making it a huge part of her personality, but they had just like not, they had not described her until now, which is an interesting choice. Um, I really like it though. The writing's really good so far. It's a series apparently, which is cool. And then I'm still reading Read This to Get Smarter by Blair Amani. That's the one that's, um, the nonfiction. Yeah, nonfiction, race, class, gender, disability, all that stuff. Informative, and that's really good. Um, and all the other stuff I read was carrier manuals on the qualifying and disqualifying features of Progressive, State Farm, or Allstate, State Auto. So really fun and Party. lightning reading. Yeah, really just <laughs> enjoyable. I could I could list off so many exclusions for you. Um, I was at a work training for we are making some changes to our business, getting more carriers, which is really exciting. I am um, working in insurance, my family's insurance company with my dad, and um, we're transitioning from a captive agent to a brokerage. So we were at that training. Um, it was really lovely. I was in a class of like fifteen other people. They were all phenomenal. Um, really good friends, really good folks. But yeah, it was, I just had a very insurancey two weeks, which is very interesting to me, but very much not interesting to you, I'm sure. So I won't, I won't go into major details about all that. But you got to go to Dallas. I was in Dallas, yeah, which brought me to McKinney Notary. I had great food. I stayed with my Aunt Rosemary, who um, is my great Aunt Rosemary. And I adore her. She's, I mean, the family member who took me prom dress shopping and did like all that stuff for me when I was a teenager and like just a huge part of my life. I love her. I haven't seen her since my wedding. She flew down for my wedding, but then COVID hit. So she was unable to come to my two brothers' weddings that got married after me. And then I haven't been back there because COVID. I haven't been able to travel really. Um, or I haven't been comfortable traveling. It's not like a restriction between Arkansas and Texas. The, neither, neither of the states get a crap. But, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I stayed with her. I had dinner with her a couple of times and just got to stay up and watch Family Feud with her. And it felt like I was 16 again. And it was really fun. And then I just had a bunch of awesome food. We had, of course, we had barbecue. We had brisket sandwiches for dinner one of the nights. Or for lunch one of the nights. Um... A bunch of the people in our group were saying it like in different parts of Dallas. So everybody was like having eating at different places and then the next day talking about it. So one of the guys 
was like his hotel was right next to this barbecue place and he's from san antonio and he's like it was the best barbecue he'd ever had he said <laughs> so we immediately went there for lunch um it was really good that bird is loud it is loud <laughs> we went Can you hear the bird <laughs> yeah it's really loud i had some fancy lunches when i like when i went to lunch with executives from the company which was cool i had some fancy like pat me on the back for doing good job lunches that were purchased for me and that was really fun and they were really delicious and then we had pho one of the nights and that was amazing um i had a bonnie and my dad had pho um i don't know just full of good food not enough rest too much insurancey stuff but i'm home now <laughs> and i'm glad to be here and i'm glad to have some knitting time back because i just didn't really i knit a pair of socks i knit a whole pair of socks in the week so it wasn't like no, no knitting, knitting at all but right it wasn't my normal. Right. And you had to drive part way home, so you didn't get car knitting. <laughs> yeah, that was a bummer. <laughs> I was lonely without you, um, but the week that you were gone. I missed you a lot. Um, <laughs> it was lonely. Um, I had therapy. I cried so hard that my eyes swelled up. I hate when I do that. And that it was to me. like that for two days. Gosh, that I feel like that happens if I cry at night. Like if I cry late at night, my eyes puff up and then they stay puffy the next day and I hate it. I feel like that happens if you cry and then you stop and then you cry again and mm. it's just like Give and it so time. like it was yeah. a long time. But um I yeah. got a lot of knitting done. So yeah, I felt very did. good. And I have more stuff that I want to like cast on than I want to take a vote on. <gasps> um but I mean other than reading and knitting, I did nothing while you were gone. Nothing. Yeah. I saw Jana like That's three good. times we sat and listened to podcasts like true crime podcasts in her front room in her living room we had pizza one night and another Jesus. night we had sandwiches Dad, we did it twice while you were so gone bad. and then um we worked at starbucks one day the one of the baristas at starbucks told me that i look really good in this color and i was like yes. i know but like thank you for also saying it because that's sweet um <laughs> uh but yeah the baristas are like they were so like on that day i've never sat at starbucks during the day yeah so like we sat there with our laptops and worked um on the wi-fi which was better than my house wi-fi your house wi-fi sucks <sighs> my <now>. house wi-fi <laughs> sucks oh it's a cardinal it's beautiful okay um <laughs> so bright red okay um but yeah so they were like on they like came by and like gave us samples of stuff and asked if we wanted water what? like over and over again brought like us water and everything came on plates and stuff i was like is this a restaurant what's happening they were Weird. so cool um i think they were just like being like friendly i don't just know the new kids nice. are really nice so um that was nice and then today at church i had the twos and threes instead of the threes and normally i have the threes i don't have to change diapers at church and i don't have a lot of like fighting and pouting <laughs> Today was not the case. That was not the case. Twos are bad. I had 20 children and they, I mean, I had three other adults with me, but like, it was terrible. They were fighting. I had a kid punch someone in the stomach and then kick a girl in the face. And he was laughing the whole time. And I was like, this one's got the devil in him. You can't say that at church. And he was like, not, I mean, at three or two, you know, you don't expect them to like be maniacs, like, maniacs like that, but he was maniac. He was crazy. That's crazy. Uh huh. He was not not to be messed with, and so I was just tired. I took two showers today. Took one before church and one after, um, <laughs> because church made me sweaty. I got boba. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, with Eden, my niece. Yeah. And yeah, she really wanted to come film with us. Did we send you a Snapchat? We did. Yeah. <laughs> she loves you. Um, um, you she said <laughs> she could have sat right there. She said, Maddie. Auntie Kristen is the best aunt in the world. And I said, well, you know, Maddie's also an aunt. And she goes, yeah, that's fine. And I, was like, I loved it. Because she's not her aunt. And yeah, I was like, so like oh, irrelevant. Irrelevant. But yeah, she's so really cute. Sweet. So she really just wanted to come sit oh, with us. I miss my nieces and a few. I need to text my brother and have dinner with him one night this week. Make them dinner. I, um, Bye, Cap. I was like doing my weekly plan this morning, like planning out like what I was, like, you know, meal planning and all that stuff. And then like my major goals for the week and things like that. Um, first thing this morning and like my number one is just like make a point to see all of my family as much of my family as I can this week because I don't know I just miss everybody and one uh. of my siblings is having um, some medical stuff going on right now um, which I won't go into a ton but he's having surgery this week which is really scary and we're not sure exactly what's going to happen after surgery and how that's going to go so thoughts and prayers for Maddie's anonymous brother I've got so many you can say anonymous yeah but um because it's just it's nerve-wracking I don't know exactly 
how serious things are. I know they're serious, but, um, so I don't know. I just, if I had breakfast with him this morning, which was nice. And then I just want to see the rest of my brothers. So I was texting all of them, trying to make plans to have a meal with everybody. And then I was, went to church this morning with my dad and, um, I was asking him, I was like, so how'd your weekly plan? Cause we both have like the same routine. It's so silly. We do the same stuff on the same days. But I was asking him about his weekly plan and he's like, yeah, I just really set like two goals for myself. One was like, um, you know, an exercise goal, like to do this every day. And the other was just like to see everyone, to see everyone in the family this week. And I was like, that's exactly what like, mine were. Same. <laughs> it was funny. Uh. And he, I was like, everyone except you. <laughs> A week of you. Are you guys going back to the office this week? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be back in the office tomorrow, but we have, we're very flexible. Like I have a lot of out of office um appointments and stuff throughout the week so i'll be kind of in and out but yeah if you want to work at the office one yeah. day, let me know and i can I need good internet be around uh, um i have to go home and work actually because i have a proposal due tomorrow that i totally let go that sucks yeah it does suck um but i have questions i have questions i am about to start another tea and I, cause that's on my make nine so i brought this because i want to show it because it's good I was gonna ask about this it. is my nitpicks mohair a loft mohair and a uh, palette fingering weight. This is gonna be my rocket tee. It's gonna be very 4th of July themed, but I like wearing red and blue together. I like American flag colors. Uh, Patriot, not really. But um, <laughs> um, this is one of my possible cast-ons and one of my sparkly O snap bags. And then I've got, ugh, where did it go? This one, another O snap bag, slightly smaller. Ugh. This is gonna be my nettle tee. And I'll put a picture there. Um, Ew, I forgot. Right? And it's such a cute pattern. And I really want to have more knitted summer tops. Yeah. Because otherwise I won't be able to wear any knitting for the rest of the year until fall in our podcast. <laughs> hey, yeah, I was going to make the nettles. So those are both on my list. Which one should I cast on? Oh, also, um, because of the boxy chevrons thing, they're going to start their basically their summer tea make along, but they are just doing that one pattern. So if you want to look at the boxy chevron, there it is, that's what it looks like. Do you want to join a knit along for that? I mean, you are, because we're gonna knit it. Yeah. Um, but we're not hosting, Arkansas Yarn Co is hosting. Um, I think they're just hosting by themselves. We're just gonna be talking and about it. And it should be starting next week. When this goes up, it should be ready. I don't know what day they're starting it, but they're ready. So cool. take a look at the pattern. Think about if you want to join. Cause I think we're done with knit alongs for a hot minute. Yeah, We've done a lot in a row. So we're going to, we're going to step gonna back on knit alongs. Um, if you're still working on a shawl, I was watching the needles with the ready podcast before we started filming and they're starting a shawl make along today. The <gasps> shawl it off. Like Taylor Swift shake it off. <laughs> Um, so they're starting like a shawl along. A shawl along. They're starting a shawl <laughs> make along. I believe today, like right around now. Awesome. They're just as lax on rules as we are. Where they're I'm like, gonna join. Knit, crochet, one skein, two skeins, whatever you want to do. Um, but check them out because they were just talking about that, and they got some insane prize donations from Delic. Like Woo! makers' backpacks, makers' bags, makers' portfolios. I want to like, win that. <laughs> yes, it's insane. So I need to finish the episode when we're done yeah. filming tonight, but. Um, it makes me want to work on one of my shawls because like those prizes are, I, I love the Bellicue stuff. We both do so much. Um, so they're really cool. The next knit along I want to do, and I think that we should do it in like July or August is a Jesse May along. Because like, we love Jessie um, Mae, and I have so many patterns I want to knit from her. Yeah. So, like, any Jessie Mae pattern. I love She that. has little tops. She has shorts. Stacey has... from Stress Knits is doing a tank and um, bralette knit along right now. Oh. Um, using those patterns. So, if you want to knit one now, you could enter over with no, Stacey. No, I have too much to do. But, like, I think, like, July. Yeah. I really think holding a Jessie Mae along would be so I like that so a lot. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Jessie. And we can... Ooh, I'm gonna girl, spread she touching out. me. She touched me. Um, I love that idea. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love, I love Jessie Mae designs for so many reasons. Two of the main reasons being how size inclusive she is and how price inclusive she is. Yeah. She has like her set price, but then there are options. Like if that's really unrealistic for you, but yeah. sometimes knitting patterns, like a huge part of the community, the knitting community is knitting these popular patterns and stuff. And if financially that's not an option, that would feel like really isolating and like, this group where everybody has like the same kind of yarn and the same patterns and they're doing the same things and you're left out of that. So I love that she has like options in there where like, hey, whatever's reasonable. Her you. patterns are well written they're and beautiful. they're well tested and it's just like, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm excited. I have so much I on the list stuff. that I want to do. 
I really want to do the flutter butt shirt. You do. The flutter butt set. I don't know yes. if that's what it's called. Might it be well, called you can hold off and do that when we do the yeah. Jackson Mango one. I, wanna, I really want to do that. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, I like the idea of like June, July uh, start. What else? What else we got? Oh, um, before we try do it, let me see guys at the boss. I'm sorry. Hi. I don't know what language she's that speaking. That was not a language. Um, so we have a Goodreads group. We talked about it last time. I'm going to put a poll. I have a poll up, but I'm going to, I'm going to extend the poll. If you guys want to do a like book club, just, yes. just one time, we're going to try it and see, or give ourselves like a month to read this book or listen to the book, however you want to consume the book. Um, osmosis, just sleep on it. Um, <laughs> And we just pick something, I think knitting related, don't you think? I don't, Sure. I mean, I think I really like the cozy mysteries and I know there are other knitting ones that yeah. we can do. Um, and we can just like pick a book. I mean, we can pick, I don't, I don't want to say one of the books we've already read, but I was like, I really like the vampire knitting club, but some, there are other ones that are similar Yeah. that are knitting related. I like that idea. Let's do one. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll take a poll if you guys yeah. want to do that. We'll put the poll in Goodreads. So if you're not part of Goodreads, just comment down below. <laughs> we'll keep you in mind. And we yeah. won't do it, like, exclusively there. Like, of course, we'll have, like, a thread in our Goodreads. But we would probably put, like, a thread in our Goodreads and our Ravelry. And then have, like, a Zoom group at the end or something to talk about it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom at night, yeah. but with books. <laughs> I, like I think that, that would be really cool. Because um, that at least gives us something to all talk about. I feel like when you join a Zoom group, sometimes you're like, what do I talk about? What yeah. do I say? But, like, we all have, like, a common thing that'll be easier. That's fun. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, mm -hmm. and we won't do it for a while because we're busy. My AirPods are still dying. Um, what if it's not recording our sound at all because my AirPods are dying? <laughs> that would be <laughs> So annoying. Um, okay. But anything else? Um, your AirPods are dying again. My AirPods are dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. I really haven't. I'm about to finish this muscle berg, which is Yay! really exciting. I'm going to call this an FO for today. No. Uh, put it on next week when it's pretty blocked and everything. If I even block it. Yeah. <laughs> I have a pile of knits by my chair in my office that just need, like, ants woven in. Like, four pairs of socks, a t-shirt, like, that I just was like, oh, done with those. Why do I do that to myself? <laughs> I don't know. You don't like to finish. I'm just touching you. Okay. We got to 2,500 subscribers last week. Yeah, I think we said something about doing something back in the day, but like, I don't know. We do giveaways so often that I don't think we need to do now a giveaway. Now I feel like, yeah, we can do those more often because uh -uh. we have some people. But I think the next one is 5,000. I think we said we we're going to give away like an interchangeable set at oh, 5,000. I mean, that's 2,500 away. It took us this long to get there. Yeah. So like, it might be a long time, but like, if we get there... So if anyone from Chagu is watching and wants to donate an interchangeable Chagu set for us or anyway. Knitter's Pride yeah, or yeah, Addy, Hiya Hiya. I mean, I prefer Chagu, but Same. <laughs> I mean, you're currently knitting with non chaogu Those are Knitter's well, Pride, yeah, right? This is, yeah, these are Knitter's Pride because that's what I have for my muscle bird needles and I bought fixed in the two and a halfs. So I wish I'd bought them in Chaogu. <laughs> if I went back on my life and did things differently, I would be more exclusive with my needle purchases because they like cost the same and they're not as good. <laughs> <laughs> so Chaogu. <laughs> oh, oh the goodness, goodness gracious. Yeah, yeah we love you, Ninja's Pride. Anyway. Um, Your needles just aren't as good as Chaogu. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like Chaogu, so. Why? If you don't like Chaogu needles, will, What's you, your deal? will you tell me why? What's like, genuinely explain to me why you have that wrong opinion. Are there better needles? No. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Maybe there are. Maybe there are more expensive needles no, than we just don't even know. signature needles are way more expensive. Signatures are like 50 bucks for a set of DPNs or something crazy. Like, they're insane. Are they made with gold? I would hope so. <laughs> they're diamond studded. Oh. Um, I feel like that wouldn't be helpful for knitting. No, it wouldn't at all. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've talked for like a good hour and a half, probably-ish. Yeah. Sort of. We have. We have. Um, we had to chunk it up into three videos. But I feel like that's good. Well, there's a lot of chatter. Um, mm -hmm. Leave a comment down below about things that we asked about. We asked about a lot of stuff. Yeah. Book club, what I should knit next. Um, tell us really pretty. hungry all of a sudden, so yeah. I just like zoned out because I was thinking about chicken strips. Um. <laughs> <sighs> thinking about how I can't breathe through my left nose. Your left nose? Yeah, not this, nostril. this is my you left a, nose. You have two noses? Yeah. Love that for you. I don't even think I have one nose. Honestly, <sighs> sometimes I feel like that. You don't appreciate 
breathing out of your nose until it's gone. I feel like I haven't breathed out of my nose for like years. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, we yeah. love you. We love you guys. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>